The wall is the work that I call enough. It's a juxtaposition of UNESCO kit that was created in 1950 in order to illustrate the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And perpendicular to the wall, you have images, vintage images of protests and strikes led by people to protest exactly this new world order that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights illustrate. And if you look at these two images, at this juxtaposition, you see here a praise uh, for monuments. And the text speaks about our people, our architects and inventors of uh, our monuments that cover the, uh, the earth, that cover the entire world. And this is for the glory of uh, uh, cultures that were disappeared. But this is exactly in a nutshell the violence of uni these universal rights because they praise the disappearance of cultures, which, what, which is the outcome or the effect of uh, centuries of colonization that destroyed cultures. So so they speak about the disappearance of cultures as if it happened from it, uh, by itself. But this is exactly the imperial project. And when you look at, at the image that I juxtaposed to this universal right, it's a bronze that was looted from Benin to Nigeria when uh, Benin city was destroyed and 5,000 objects were looted uh, by the British but then distributed all over uh, uh, Britain. And this is not a disappeared culture. They are still claiming these objects, the restitution of these objects held by uh, European museums.